Hello traders and welcome to a new price prediction video of mine. Today's video we're going to be looking at price action volume of Bitcoin, sentiment of Bitcoin, and the fear greed index of Bitcoin to formulate a prediction. So before we start with my prediction, I'd like to talk about this week's community prediction. The price prediction challenge that I ran this week was what is the highest price that BNB BTC will go to? And Sergeant Crip believed that 25374 will be the price. This is the price and the shape that the market he predicted would make. He believed that even though BNB BTC was moving on very high momentum to the downside, that price would uh, establish previous resistance as future support, as you can see here. And not only would it rebound right away, but it would go slightly lower over time before moving higher. This is what ended up actually happening with BNB BTC. Um, his prediction was here, price went slightly lower, and then much, much higher, just as he had predicted. This is the third time that Sergeant Crip has won. Um, so I honestly think that this video should be made by Sergeant Crip and not me at this point. <laughs> All right, but regardless of that, let's talk about price action volume of Bitcoin. So there are two major support areas that I'm eyeing up. The first one is 5850 to 5950, and the second one is 4850 to 4950. I believe that Bitcoin's likely going to find support at one of these two price zones. And here's the reasons why. The first zone that I believe, uh, which is right around 5850 to 5950 here, that's right below a major low of 6K indicated by this price tell here. If Bitcoin goes below that low, I think that many traders are going to have their stop losses hit. Many traders are going to get liquidated. Uh, news articles may come out saying that crypto is dying. Uh, many traders are likely going to panic and sell. And when they panic and sell, they'll likely be selling to institutions and smart money who are picking up Bitcoin at a phenomenal price when people look back a few months later. Uh, so when that happens, I think that if we see a quick pop down to around 58.50 to 59.50, and then we see a quick rebound up to, I'd say at least 6,100, then there's a good chance that I think that the bull run will actually begin uh, and that Bitcoin may go much, much higher. Again, the reason I say that is I believe that Bitcoin's in a five-wave Elliott wave pattern, with this being wave one up to 20K. We're currently in wave two, and wave twos typically end at around 61.8. It's a 78.6 retracement. That's where they typically end in this uh, sharp retracement zone. And then we begin wave three that goes much, much higher than 20K, as indicated on my uh, previous price prediction videos for long-term analysis of Bitcoin. So that's looking at the uh, zoomed out price action volume of this one here. I also want to talk about the 4850 to 4950 uh, zone as well. I think that this one's slightly less likely to be visited, but if it is, I think that we can get powerful support that could create a wave three, uh, Bitcoin much, much higher than 20K. The reason I say that is we have previous resistance here that could become future support. And also if Bitcoin is able to go slightly beyond 5K, uh, that could cause a heavy amount of panic, of FUD, uh, of heavy market selling that could quickly pop the price lower on a uh, low tail. Institutions and high frequency traders uh, may buy up Bitcoin at that price uh, and price may go higher. So those are the two prices that I think we're likely to see major support from. However, um, what does invalidate this is if Bitcoin goes beyond the 78.6 retracement, so going beyond around 4250, then crypto at that point is likely not in a great state. Um, then Bitcoin may go much, much lower to around these levels here. I doubt that's going to happen. Um, but if we do see a breach of the 78.6, then it is likely that Bitcoin's going to be staying much, much lower uh, and that the five wave Elliott wave pattern is likely not going to occur. Okay, so now let's go on to sentiment. So if we look at sentiment here, what you see with this green line are the margin longs. And what you see with this red line here are the margin shorts. Typically, what we want to see for a uptrend to begin is a drop in margin longs and a rise in margin shorts. So a few examples of that. When we see a drop in margin longs, as you can see right here, uh, Bitcoin was here. And Bitcoin had a much harder time going lower. So Bitcoin went higher until we see a spike in margin longs here. Bitcoin had a much harder time going higher. 
they continued to increase and price went lower, as you can see here. Another time we had a spike in margin longs was here and here. Uh, we had a lot of buying here and that's likely what caused the amount of selling in return here. So as we can see here, shorts have been relatively steady and longs have been steadily increasing. This is quite bearish and not a good sign for the market. Um, I believe that we're, we're going to get lower lows to either the 48.50 to 49.50 or the 58.50 to 59.50, those two price zones, because of how bad sentiment is right now and because of how low uh, the, sh the shorts are, to be honest, and how many longs we're likely going to have to market sell to create this uptrend for wave three. So that's what I'm looking at for sentiment. Uh, the only change I would make is that if we see a massive drop off in longs and a massive increase in shorts, then that would be a pretty good sign of reversal. Um, but until I see that, I'm still going to believe that we are bearish, as you can see here. So finally, I also want to talk about the Crypto Fear Greed Index. This index is calculated based off these factors, as you can see here, and Google Trends, as you can see. If we look at when the Fear Greed Index goes below 15 or goes above 65, we can see a few patterns here. Bitcoin was below 15 uh, here. February 5th and February 6th, it went very low, meaning high fear, as you can see here. Let's go to blast from the past, February 5th and February 6th, just to look at uh, what was likely going on at those times. So if we zoom back to February 5th and February 6th, that would have been right here. This was February 5th, and this was February 6th. And that's when the Crypto Fear Greed Index was very, very low. Uh, many traders were selling, as you can see. The second time that it went below 15 was on April 2nd. So let's go to April 2nd. Uh, April 2nd, as you can see, was here. Before the uptrend. Uh, many traders were panicking at around here, thinking that Bitcoin was going to go much, much lower. So Bitcoin went much, much higher. Now let's take a look at what the Fear Greed Index is at now. It's currently at 28, uh, which is not fantastic. I would like to see that go at least below 15 and preferably below 10 so we can get a bounce like this. Uh, I, I really want to see a heavy amount of panic and fear in this market before I'd be comfortable uh, getting back into Bitcoin, as you can see here. If we look at some times when the market was very greedy, so above 65, May 6th, and on February 20th. So let's first take a look at May 6th. May 6th was here. Yep, you can see it right down there. Uh, May 6th was here right before the drop. And February 20th, I believe, was the other time that we had a heavy amount of greed. February 20th was here, as you can see indicated there, uh, right at the high. So Fear Greed Index does work quite well in looking at a price prediction from an emotional crowd perspective. Um, and that's why I like to use it a lot. And that's also why I think that we're going to be going a little bit lower, uh, or much, much lower, um, because of how high the Fear Greed Index currently was. And as you can see, greed was really beginning to pile up here. So this is a great tool that you can use, and I'm going to link this one in the comments uh, below. So with my final say on Bitcoin, uh, I've identified the two price zones that I think we're likely to visit. I do think it's equally likely that both are um, visited. There is also a probability that price could just immediately turn right upward after going below this low and going below this low. I doubt that's going to occur, um, but that also is a possibility as well. So I would say about 10% chance that Bitcoin just soars, 45% uh, chance that Bitcoin goes to around the 5850 to 5950 area, and then around another 45% chance that Bitcoin goes to around the 4850 to 4950 area, uh, as both, both of those areas likely contain high amounts of liquidity uh, and are going to be areas of high panic and fear. So that will be a great buying opportunity. All right, so that's going to be it for this video, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.